Well, I think uh, lesson number one is we've got to protect our officers, and we've got to provide them with the, the tools and the training to use those tools so they can reduce uh, any kind of injury as much as possible. But that doesn't mean giving them free reign to, to injure or abuse citizens. And I think uh, they, they owe the citizens that type of, of response where they're using the least amount of force necessary. So my advice to the, to the uh, police chief is to look at your management program. Make sure your policy is current. Make sure your training is sufficient, not just what the manufacturer tells you to do, but what you want your officers to do. And I think through, with guidance from, from different associations and, and what we know about these devices, I think that can be done fairly easily. I think you need to make sure that your supervisor is active and keeps up with his or her officers. And finally, it's that, it's that accountability feature. If an officer is using force more than uh, other officers in that situation or using higher levels of force than other officers in those situations, then there has to be some accountability in terms of oversight, in terms of audits, in terms of analysis of, of, of what is going on with that officer. Is it a problem or is it simply a function of where he's working or where she's working and the type of people with whom he or she is coming into contact?